Hi, Flozen here and we're back for better because we're going to throw top 20 tips to be stronger in Infinite Magic Raid. We're about to dig some informative stuff about the game, I've been playing for 4 months now and these tips will guarantee your progress. Let's begin! Number 1. Log in for rewards. Pretty common, almost every game requires you to log in. This will provide you resources like stamina, shards, epic hero, and more. After two weeks of just claiming these login rewards, you can definitely get a legendary attacker, Margarita. Margarita is a top tier attacker and she'll definitely help you a lot to progress. The rewards are overloaded at this point and make sure to grab those. Number 2. Focus on boosting up one attacker. Either epic or legendary, that depends on you, but focus on one attacker. I highly suggest Holder for Epic because he's got counter attack buff that he can use to himself and also this hero is really helpful on early stages. The reason is, the game will provide you regression potion along the way. And this potion returns all of the resources that was used for your one hero. Once you are able to claim all of your resources back, you can use all of those resources to your much dependable damage dealer. The point is, we just don't want to use the potion, egg, and the scroll for the heroes that will end up being unused anyway. Even though the game is very generous with the resources, we need to avoid this kind of misplay. Number 3. Do your daily quests and advanced quests. The reason is, the game actually provides a lot of resources just by clearing all of the quests. Stamina, arena tickets, rune shards, almost everything that will help you progress dramatically. will always start on clearing your quest. Advanced quests, on the other hand, provides you awesome rewards such as supreme runes, epic eggs. These items are big resources and you'd want to grab these rewards all day. Number 4. Go to your market, buy useful items, refresh it for 5 times. And if you're lucky, you can get excellent rune and multi-battle staminates. I always do this just for the sake of getting better offers for a potion and low starred hero. This low starred hero will end up being fed for higher starred hero so we can awaken them for good. Just 50 gems expense for 5 refreshes per day will bring you one step further from everyone else. Tip number 5. Maximize your dispatch. Use this. This will provide you everything but in little forms. If your luck kicks, you might get a legendary dispatch, which provides great, great resources. So always use this. Also, if you encounter one to two low-level dispatch here and you have a lot of gems, don't hesitate to refresh it. So the system will provide you random dispatch. This will also help you out on leveling up your dispatch faster. More level of your dispatch, more chances for rares. Tip number 6. Always take advantage of those quick auto drop. This will only cost you 20 gems per claim and it will provide you random resources. If you're lucky enough, you'll get an epic hero for free. Plus, you can get adventure experience. The higher the adventure experience, the better amount of resources. Tip number 7. Challenge the guild boss. This will provide you excellent rune, coins, scroll, and crafting materials. Also, if you reach 50 million damage and above, you'll have the chance to get supreme runes and advanced skill scroll. I have actually experienced getting supreme runes twice only the whole time I've been playing the game, even though I have reached 100 million damage and above. So guys, bless you a lot if you got these supreme runes on your daily basis, really. Number 8. Save your stamina for Dwarven Ruins events. Apart from spending your stamina for your campaigns, save up for this one. And this event, just like other events, will provide you very helpful items once you obtain the required points. 
and first staring at those mythic shards. Always a beautiful sight. Furthermore, you can get big amount of stamina from Space Temple when you clear its stages. Try and try it, it provides fruitful amount of resources. Tip number 9, save your gems in preparation for arena event or advanced arena event. This is so important. As this kind of event provides you the same rewards from Dwarven Druins, aside from that, you can get talent tomes from arena that you can use to upgrade your general stat for every type of heroes that you have. If Advanced Arena is the upcoming event like we can see here, you can get arena coins that you can be converted for these awesome, awesome rewards. Oh, by the way, go all in for Akmin, he's a guild boss abuser. Tip number 10, save your coins for Enhancement Goals event. Despite not having medic shards here for rewards, it's still super useful to get resources just by participating. Just like other events, it has a ranking system that provides additional rewards once the event has been ended. Tip number 11, save your hero crafting and skill ops for hero training event. Rewards are neat and must haves as well. The more crafting material you have on your bag, the more points you get. Skill tomes got heavy points as well, so take it slowly and use these resources only for this event. Upgrading hero exclusives will grant you enormous points as well, so save up all of your duplicates just for this. Medic exclusive upgrade is surely worth it under this event too. Also, additional trick, only use regression potion when there is a hero training event. This will boost your score big time, but you can definitely consider buying it if you really need it, cause it costs 1000 gems and it's a lot. Tip number 12, maximize your gem usage. Only use gem for refilling stamina, arena tickets, advanced arena tickets, and the other discounted items that can be seen in here. Don't consider buying on this part because these items can be obtained by just participating on your quest. Tip number 13. Get Luna as your first mythic hero. It requires 100 mythic shards and this is super crucial. Hero is so useful, she's got heal, cleanse, attack buff, revival, and turn meter increase. I have not regret choosing her and she's going to help you progress further. Tip number 14, take advantage of preset lineup. Preset lineup button can always be seen on your battle mode. This will allow you to strategize your move for your hero. I always use this when I clear dungeons. For example, I would ban high spirited skill on the first wave so that I can use this skill automatically on the second wave because it would highly impact my survival as wave 2 on this growing stage 23 is pretty scary. Tip number 15. Use your event coins for iron ingot. Despite the fact that other resources around here are attractive, iron ingot will help you long term as it allows you to forge feather set. Feather sets provide you 10% speed and HP. This is just perfect for your sustaining supports and other cases can also be put on your defenders. I have made my team revolve around Feather Set as it makes my backline supports tankier and faster at the same time. It really helps, trust me. Tip number 16, save up for wish event. Just like hero training and equipment artifact enhancement event, I highly persuade you to save up your refined rune excellent rune and supreme runes for this event. Aside from providing you awesome resources, the most attractive is that when you get top 1 on rankings from this event, you can get a 5 star egg clean, which is already a big food for your hero. Tip number 17 is complete your battle order. Abundant rewards are waiting for you if you complete all of the order quests. And this can be refreshed every day once cleared, but it also can be discarded if you don't think you can finish the quest within the day. VIP rewards are very delighting to take, and if you enjoy the game pretty much like I do, you can definitely try and buy it. 
Tip number 18 is to add active friends. They will bring you stamina along the way. Just by clicking quick claim and send, you'll get your precious stamina from there. Tip number 19 is don't sell purple and legendary equipments as these can be crafted. Even though the stats on your legendary gears don't match with the actual equipment, we can still recycle this for good. For example, I would like to forge a 5 star feather set. This means I will be needing 5 star epic and above HP set as well as a speed set to continue. Last and final tip is focus only on upgrading to hero marks. There are 4 marks in total in infinite magic raid and these are hero classifications. Tower mark is where you get keys to form for mark rooms. Keys take 4 hours to refill which is why you need to maximize the usage of this, as focusing solely on 2 marks is a must. As for me, I've focused mainly on upgrading my green mark and my force mark heroes from the talent tower because these are the kind of marks that I've mostly received from wishes. Additionally, I have found myself better attackers on force mark which is why I've increased their attack and crit rate status. On the other hand, for my green mark heroes, I have increased their speed, HP, and defense stats as these are the heroes I use for supporting. Bottom line is, you don't want to scatter your stat buildup for the other marks if the heroes under it are not usually used. Keep in mind that deciding which of the four marks you want to focus on are your own discretion. Base it all on what you have right now and I know you can do it. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you got plenty. If you have suggestions and other tips, I'm all ears from the comment box section below. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of these contents. Happy gaming!